you may recognize this building. It's the Engineering and Applied Sciences building just behind the Science Center. As an engineer, when I look at this photo, I see two types of materials. All the engineering structures are made with hard materials, such as metals, glass, concrete. But if you look at nature, plants and animals, including humans, are mostly made with soft materials. If we look inside animals or plants, we can find many soft biological materials that contain mostly water. Is there any engineering material that is similar to these biological materials? They are called hydrogels. Hydrogels are composed of water and a polymer network. Hydrogels are not new to us. One example is jello. <laughs> jello is soft, similar to natural biological materials. But the problem is that if you're thinking about engineering applications, Many hydrogels, including jello, are not suitable. <laughs> They're so fragile, even a spoon can break them. They're not strong or tough enough to bear any load. Researchers have been trying to make strong and tough hydrogels for many years. But in our group, we were able to solve this problem. We developed a hydrogel that is dramatically different it's much stronger and tougher than any of the hydrogels. It can be made into very thin sheets. It is extremely stretchable and hard to break. Our design principle includes adding two fragile hydrogels to improve the mechanical properties. If you look at the molecular structure, it contains single polymer networks, but by combining these two, we created a hybrid hydrogel that we call tough hydrogel. Tough hydrogels look similar to its parent materials, but it's much stronger and tougher. They're easy to make, and they're also inexpensive. The synthesis of the hydrogel include adding the powders of the parent materials to a large quantity of water. They're then mixed with the cross-linking agents and poured it into a mold to set. When it is set, we can remove it in solid form. These hydrogels contain more than 90% water. They also can be made into very large pieces. As we develop this extremely tough hydrogel that is easy to make and inexpensive, I ask, what can we do with this material? Let's look at the molecular structure of these hydrogels. Hydrogels are primarily composed of water molecules and the polymer network just give the structural support. What we have done is that we have made water tough. Water has amazing properties. For example, water can absorb a large amount of heat. Water can conduct ions. And hydrogels retain all these properties. Let's consider the ability of absorbing heat from a fire. Our hypothesis was that when the hydrogel is exposed to fire, instead of catching fire, it can absorb a huge amount of heat and retard the fire. This is a comparison of firefighters' fabric versus our hydrogels. As you can see, it's a huge problem in firefighting that current fire retarding fabrics do not give enough protection at hot flames. In contrast, our materials have a great potential to make apparel to protect people's lives from burn injuries. In case of a fire, this can be made into a big blanket that you can wrap around, or even a jacket that you can wear and escape safely. Because this hydrogel contains more than 90% water, it can be made very inexpensive, so anyone can have it. So in future, I envision that the technology with soft materials is so developed. Not only can they be used in fire protection, but we can think of many other applications. Because tough hydrogels are similar to natural tissues, one day it can be used for cartilage replacement. These hydrogels can be used as artificial muscles. 
tough hydrogels can be made into variable electronics that are compatible with human body. We can think of many other applications with this amazing material and possibly help to solve the long-standing engineering problems in new ways. Thank you. Thank you.